Welcome to Problems and Solutions. Today, we will solve the problem 64 of Halliday and Resnick Fundamentals of Physics. So let's start. The figure shows a box of mass M2 equals 1 kilogram on a frictionless plane inclined at angle 30 degrees. It is connected by a cord of neglig negligible mass to a box of mass M1 equals 3 kg on a horizontal frictionless surface. The pulley is frictionless and massless. A. If the magnitude of horizontal, horizontal force is F, of the horizontal force F is 2.3 newtons, what is the tension? in the connecting cord. B. What is the largest value of the magnitude F may have without the cord becoming slack? Okay. So let's represent the, the force and solve the problem. So starting drawing the forces. Uh, let's see. Let's draw the here the the block one here we have let's represent the force with in red we have this force and the tension and also the force the gravitational force and the normal force so let's write the tension, the tension T, the weight force M1 multiplied by G, the normal force, and also the F force F. So Let's copy this, put that, and also the force here. We have also this force. Okay. F. So that's it. The force acting on block of mass M1, block 1. Let's represent the force in the, in the block 2. So block 2, we have, let's draw the block similar to this and let's incline the block, the block. Okay, almost, okay. That's it. Here we have the blocks, the block M2. The block M2 has a force, a tension force also, so tension. The weight and the normal force always perpendicular to the surface, so the normal force. And I think it's, we can also represent the, the angle if, you, if we put this, okay. Here we'll have, we have the, here we have the, the weight, M2, in blue, oops. M2 multiplied by G. Here we have the let's put normal one and normal two. And here we have the same angle theta 
with the perpendicular direction so that's okay I think it's it's okay so here we have theta and the tension T it's the same tension because the pulley is is frictionless and massionless massless also so here we have the forces and now we can write the equations so for the mass for the block the the first block uh, and the second block the first block we can write the we sum the force in the x direction the horizontal horizontal direction so we will have what we will have it will be f plus the tension equals the mass m2 multiplied by the acceleration so this is the forces in the horizontal direction and here we will sum the forces in the direction of the surface and we will have the equation so in this direct the direction of the surface we will have t the tension the tension is contrary to the direction we are considering positive to this direction so minus t plus the projection of the weight in the direction we are considering so m2 multiplied by g projected so multiplied by sine of theta this equals the mass m2 multiplied the acceleration note that note that the acceleration will be the, the same because the the two blocks are connected so we have two equations and two unknowns the tension and the acceleration only this what we want in this problem is to find the tension so let's write the acceleration in the first equation here this equation implies that the acceleration will be f plus t divided by m2 m2 or m1 oh it was wrong here is m1 the first block so m1 here and we can put this acceleration in this second equation so this you imply that minus t plus m2 multiplied by g multiplied by sine of theta equals m2 multiplied by f plus t divided by m1 the mass so now you can find the tension so we will write m2 g sine theta equals t plus m2 divided by m1 multiplied by t plus m2 divided by m1 multiplied by f so we can write m2 g sine theta theta minus f divided by m1 equals t 
multiplied by 1 plus m2 divided by m1. So, the tension T will be m2 multiplied by g sine theta minus f divided by m1 and this divided by 1 plus m2 divided by m1. This is the tension we have. Let's put it here. It's better. Okay, now let's use the, the values. M1 is 3 kilograms. Let's put it. M1. Oh, oops. M1 equals 3 kilogram. M2 equals 1 kilogram. And theta equals 30 degrees. Yes. Okay. So the tension will be 3, no, 1, multiplied by 9.81, multiplied by sine of 30 degrees, minus F, F equals 2.3, if I'm correct, 2.3 newtons, minus 2.3 divided by m13 and this is divided by 1 plus m21 divided by 3 3 so let's use our calculator to to have the numerical results So, 9.81 multiplied by sine of 30 degrees minus 2.3 divided by 3. Let's put in parentheses. K okay, divided by 1 plus 1 divided by 3. 3. So, here we have. 3.1 newtons. This is the tension in the card. It's the item the item A. What's the tension in the connection card? Okay. Item B. What's the largest value of the magnitude F of F? Uh, the value the magnitude of f may have without the chord becoming slack. The chord will become slack, slack when the tension will, will be zero, zero. So tension, we put zero in the tension, so tension zero, so the, the chord is slack, equals these result, results. So let's cop, okay. And here we have, let's put here, zero equals this. So this implies that this term will be zero and we will have uh, G multiplied by sine of theta minus f divided by m1 equals 0. So f will be m1 multiplied by g multiplied by sine of theta. 
theta. So f here we have the the result. So let's put it in numbers. Let's put the numbers. F will be M1 3 kilograms multiplied by 9.81 sine of 30 degrees. So let's use our, our calculator. F will be 3 multiplied by 9.81 0.81 multiplied by sine of 30 degrees. Okay, so we will have 14.7. So F will be 14.7 Newtons. This is the solution. So here we have the problem is solved.